Welcome to the HP Palm Top Tube channel. This is the first video in my new Will It Play series covering the classic DOS city builder game SimCity. This new series of videos will review MS DOS games on the 100 and 200 LX Palm Tops and evaluate how well they play on the platform. SimCity, developed by Will Wright and released in 1989 by Maxis, was an instant hit and sold hundreds of thousands of copies. It has been ported to more than a dozen platforms and although the DOS version was the most commercially successful, many other platforms had copies and were very successful as well. I'll be looking at the following aspects of the game on this platform, so the graphics, sound, controls and gameplay. Finally, I will be offering my opinion on whether it's worth obtaining a copy of this game and installing it on your machine. So let's start. SimCity is a game that requires no introduction to most viewers of this channel. It's a classic that has a very addictive gameplay loop. While it's actually quite a complex game to master, its intuitive user interface makes it really easy for new players to start playing. To play SimCity on your 100 or 200 LX, you will need to connect a mouse to your Palm Top serial port. Please watch my video on how to connect a mouse to your Palm Top for more information. So let's start with a new city and building some infrastructure. So I'm just going to go with easy. It's terraforming my map. Here's my random map. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close this large map. And here we go. Going to the edges of the screen with your mouse scrolls the map. Here's water, which is good because I can put a port there. So I'm going to start building here. So first of all, we need electricity. So I'm going to build a coal fired power plant there. And just to get my uh, industrial zones to be a bit more successful, I'm going to build a port here. And I'm also going to build some industrial zones nearby, maybe here. I'm just going to build a block of, say, six to start. Or maybe make it eight. And I'm going to connect those to the electricity station. There we go. So now they should get power. Yep, there we go. And next up, I'll add a few commercial. I'll add a few commercial uh, real estate. So let's maybe start there. I might put a block of six. And finally we need places for people to build houses. So I'm going to put some residential blocks here. Let's make it eight. And connect those up to my power. There we go. I'm just going to draw a second redundancy line here. So now everybody has power, but no roads. So that's the, the, sec the next thing we're going to do. Build roads. Now this is the hardest part for me with my mouse. My mouse isn't the best mouse to use for this game. It's not very uh, very accurate. It's one of those old mice, optical mice that use a special mouse pad with a pattern on it. Um, I mean, it's it's definitely doable, but you do end up making mistakes here or there that you have to then bulldoze away. Ooh, see, there you go. Not always easy doing a straight line, but with a, a ball mouse, especially a, a good working clean ball mouse, it works a lot better actually. Just 
gonna continue here. Oopsie, same problem. Here we go. I'm also gonna make sure that people can access the power station and the port. There we go. This is our starter city. See, there's uh, little houses being built here. There's no commercial buildings yet. We've got two industrial areas that are being used. Everybody's got electricity. So just to top it off, let's uh, build a police station. I'll put that here and a fire department here and if we hook those up we should be covered so I think I'm gonna leave things like this this looks like a good setup to demonstrate the game finally I'm just gonna increase the speed to the fastest possible and let's just observe what happens with our little miniature town. So the industrial zones are slowly being being built on. We have one commercial zone and our little residential houses. It's uh, it's very handy if you didn't know on the bottom left here is a little graph which uh, says CRI commercial residential industrial um, you can easily use that to see what demand is for one of those particular three um, uh, types of real estate so it looks like we've reached 2,000 citizens in our town there's two commercial real estate areas being used and our industrial uh, capacity seems to be growing as well here's our yearly report we're not making any money because we've just been spending but i'm sure everybody knows how to play SimCity. so let's go on to uh, revise everything so the graphics for me the graphics are perfect there's you know, I would have given it a 10 out of 10 for graphics, but I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because of the fact that the display is vertically squashed. You know, this game was designed to be ran uh, in CGA on a 4-3 aspect ratio computer monitor, not on a palm top which has a, a very wide screen LCD like the 200LX has. So, you know, normally the industrial commercial and residential squares they're perfect squares here they're basically rectangular that's the only gripe I have with the graphics besides that everything is very sharp very clear very detailed and very responsive um, what I'm gonna do just to show the responsiveness is I'm going to load one of the included scenarios just to see what it happens when you load a really big city. I'll just load San Francisco. This is a, a very big city. Just gonna close this and it runs fine. There is no speed loss or it doesn't hang. You can even set the speed to the fastest and it actually goes really fast when you do. So this city is uh, having issues with earthquakes, which is the scenario's point. You need to solve the earthquake damage. So there, a very large city. Then sound. Um, I think the sound is okay. I'm using the standard PC speaker. Um, the sound effects are quite rough and noisy, typical sound effects you'd get from a PC speaker, although they're not beeps, they're actual very low quality sampled sounds, but you only hear them every once in a while when there's a, an earthquake or any other natural disaster, um, or a boat or an airplane, 
um, comes by. Finally, controls and gameplay. I think the gameplay is perfect. I mean, I can spend hours playing this. Um, I think it's one of the best games probably to play on this platform. It plays really well, it's fun, and I can play this all day. You know, if you're on a train commuting to work, or you're on holiday on a camping ground, all you need to do is find a flat surface for your mouse and pop out your HP palm top, your mouse, and you know, you'll be playing for hours. It's a very good game. So my final score is a 9 out of 10 for SimCity on the 200 LX. Okay, please uh, like the video and consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell icon.